Well, hello there. I'm tired today, people. It's not the same sort of tiredness uh, as we had a couple of weeks ago when our habit of feeding to sleep, which is either perfectly normal or horribly dependent, depending on who you talk to, saw us uh, end up at sleep school. No, nope. we've got a different sort of tiredness going on here because Mr. Moo has started teething. Now, before I had children, I didn't think that teething was actually a thing. I had nothing to base that off, of course. Just the uh, self-assurance of a 30-something year old woman who had her crap together in other parts of her life. There's no such thing as teething, I said. That was that was a mistake. That was a fallacy. Uh, I also didn't think there was such a thing as reflux until I ruined a couple of the bloke's textbooks propping up Miss Spaghetti's cot. Reflux is also a thing. There you go. Anyway, we've got teething in this house, so today we're going to do a teething face. Now we're all de dedicated parents here, so um, obviously you you care deeply for your child and there's some comforts that can only come from skin to skin contact. So letting your child chew on your face is a perfectly, perfectly natural way of dealing with their teething pain. We're going to start with the base. Um, now there's a lot of uh, a lot of schools of thought out there with teething. There's some people who choose to go with a natural path. Um, some people who uh, you know buy into big pharma. And we'll go with all of the products that are sold at the chemist to help them out. Um, I like to cover all my bases. I go for excellence in everything that I do. So I'm going to go with both today. I'm going to start with a base of Bongella Teething Gel. Um, that's going to help uh, not only provide some soothing anesthetic for our child, it's also going to save us a little bit of pain when they start chewing on our cheekbones. Um, now this has got a really nice feel on the skin. Um, probably because it's going to numb my skin. It's not the first time my face has gone numb and it probably won't be the last. But anyway, look, we've got a base going on there. Pretty, oh, it's on my lips as well. That's good. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be giving him lots of kisses because children who are teething need a lot of love. Get that on your face. Smooth it across because, you know, as I said, we care deeply for our children. So a nice smooth application is really important to help them get a consistent chewing experience when they go for your skin. That's done. Teething gel doesn't taste very good, does it? This is a surprise to me. I've been rubbing it on my kids for years now and I've never tasted it myself. Anyway, we've got a base going on. Um, base colour. Um, uh, it's important to um, give your children um, some easy to digest food when they're teething. So I'm going to go back with my old friend, the custard powder. You can see here I've got this one here. Um, it's probably not organic. It's probably not even in date. But we can take what we can get in this household. I'm going to apply it with a MAC uh, stippling brush. I like to use this for many of my powder bases. I'm going to get it on there. Just um, just work it in. Work it into the <laughs> Bongella base that we've got going on. And you can see there that I have got a really, really nice finish with this... Um, with this product. Um, truth be known, the old custard powder is probably doing a better job than some of those fancy mineral foundations that are out there. Youngblood, I'm looking at you. I spent a lot of money on your products at one point in time, but I think I'm going to just switch back to custard powder because look at that. It's hidden, hidden all the fatigue that's going on in my skin at the moment because I've been awake multiple times a night trying to soothe a crying baby. You might think, uh, what, what are we using for colour inspiration today? <clears throat> of course, as any good um, middle class household, um, we've got our old friend Sophie Giraffe here. And I think that that's a pretty good colour match for Sophie Giraffe. Now you might say, in titlementary, Sophie Giraffe looks a bit filthy. You'd be right, of course. Um, we tried to clean Sophie Giraffe between children by putting her in the dishwasher. Sophie Giraffe is not dishwasher safe. If you're wondering, um, you put her in the dishwasher. She's got a little uh, squeaker there, <coughs> squeaking. Um, she fills up with water. And apparently some people have found by cutting Sophie Giraffe open that uh, the water then goes moldy or maybe their child's spit gets in there or whatever it is. Um, Sophie Giraffe is not hygienic. Um, so I put Sophie Giraffe outside after putting her in the dishwasher in an attempt to dry her out been outside trying to dry out a few times myself um, didn't really seem to work I think there's still water inside her um, so she's been out in the garden I found her there 
Anyway, colour inspiration. I'm going to go with a nice little flush on both the cheeks. She, well, she did have flushes on both her cheeks, but some of it's obviously come off because the finished dishwashing product is so superior. Um, to, um, to secure that product onto my face, I'm going to start with a little bit of a highlight um, on the cheekbones. And for that, I'm going to go with Nurofen. Now, you might say this is for one to five years. I would say yes. This is a face perhaps for people whose children are a little bit older. Maybe they're cutting their molars. But this product here, it says that it's color free, but I think when it reacts with the custard powder, it's going to give us a nice highlight. And then moving back to the apples, I'm going to use a strawberry because I did some Googling about um, what to do for teething pain. Now, you might think teething is pretty simple. Um, you could go and talk to one of your pediatrician friends in Tidalmentary if you wanted to get the real facts on teething. But no, I've got Dr. Google and I think that that's a superior source of information. So... Did a bit of reading. There's lots of natural treatments out there. One of those treatments is freezing fruit. So if you've got room in your freezer and you haven't filled it up with um, half price specials from Coles on ice cream that you hide away and don't let your children see until they've got room in your freezer for freezing fruit, more power to you. This one's not frozen because I've got no room. Anyway, apples of the, uh, apples of the cheeks. Stripping a little bit, but that's okay. Children like a little bit of color variation. It helps with their visual development. Um, lips as well. I think that Sophie's got a good flush there in the center of her lips. So I'm going to go with that. Smash it on. That's pretty good. One of the suggestions that I came across when I was Googling was that you should put your child on a low inflammation diet. And I quote, focus on paleo type foods. Now, you can see here, this is a paleo-type body. So we've got a lot of paleo-type foods in this house. Some suggestions were coconut, avocado, and butter. I did find an ancient bottle of coconut rum, but I don't know if that's what they were talking about. So I'm not going to risk it. I do care about my children enough to not be uh, testing out untested remedies on them. Avocados are very expensive at the moment, and so is butter. Apparently, France has got a butter crisis going on because there's not enough butter out there for their croissants. Croissant, depending on what your actual pronunciation is there. Uh, probably because all the paleo people have used said croissant, uh, said butter, um, not for croissant, but for um, their boosted coffee products. Anyway, thank you for ruining Christmas, paleo people. Um, another suggestion was, though, boosting the immune system, and one of the suggestions there was probiotics. So I found this uh, tub of yogurt at the back of the fridge. It's actually out of date, 5th of November. I'm going to think that that means that there's probably more bacterial product in it. So um, we're going to put some of that on our face. I'm just going to go in with the finger because that really helps um, some heat, helps the bacteria to, um, to develop, and that will in turn mean that there's... Um, anyway, I'm going to go with the eyes. Across the eyes, there we go. A base color for the eyes. Now Sophie Giraffe actually has quite, um, some might say dead black eyes. Um, I'm not going to say that, you know, if not for the whole mold thing, Sophie would be quite uh, visually appealing. Obviously designed by somebody without children though, because everyone knows that you don't buy products for people um, who have children that are not dishwasher safe or cannot go in the tumble dryer. Like that's my rule in life if I had one. One of the other suggestions, though, that I came across was herbal remedies. Uh, cloves was a suggestion. Give your children cloves. Sorry, I'm just looking down at my list there because these things, obviously, as a professional shiller, as I may say, an agent of Big Pharma, um, natural products don't really come easily to me. But I found some cloves. I've pretty much ruined Christmas because that's all that I had left. But, you know, it's my child. I'm, I'm prepared to make sacrifices. We're going to put those onto my eyes like that. The uh, the yogurt should help them sit there. <clears throat> yep, that's pretty pretty good. I think it's um I think it's going to work. Yeah, look at that. The crease. We've got it in the crease. Excellent. Can we get another one in? Good. There we go. Mr. Moo, Mummy loves you. I'm running a real risk of visual injury here. That's all right. That's okay. Another suggestion was chamomile tea. I'm a coffee person, so we're probably not going to be able to substitute there. Uh, catnip 
was a suggestion. I have got two cats. I'm not running the risk of my child being attacked by them because he smells um, so appealing. So look, that's, um, that's looking quite good. And I think I am quite true to form. Without the horns and the ears, I think it's a pretty good replication of our dear friend, designed by a non-childbearing person, Sophie Giraffe. But I'm missing spots. Now, some of you might say, in Typomentary, there's this wonderful, wonderful uh, teething um, instrument that you have not mentioned here, and that is, of course, the amber teething necklace. In Tidalmetry, you just put that on your child, the child's body heat heats the Baltic amber, it uh, releases succinic acid, which is absorbed into the child's skin, it goes straight to their teeth and it helps them with those teething pains. Um, look people, if that's, if that's your, that's your belief, I don't think I can help you. Perhaps you need to do a little bit of, get on the Dr. Google, get on Dr. Google and let's, uh, let's read about teething necklaces. I might put a link in. But it's not really funny to um, bash people for their beliefs, is it? No, it's not nice. So, look, I'm going to cover all my bases. Like I said, I'm going to go in with my own amber product. Now, um, I've got the uh, some amber powder here. What that's going to do is um, charge some of the positive ions that are around my child's gums while they're teething. It's going to help them realign on a magnetic plane, which is no longer... Um, going to cause them pain. Um, now you might say entitlementary that looks suspiciously like Mac Casino, but <laughs> doubting Thomases, doubting Thomases. Look at that. Believers. We're going in with the old Baltic Amber powder. Going to do some spots. Here we go. A couple of spots there. Look at that. That succinic acid is going to be freely available for Mr. Moo to have a crack at. He doesn't even need to use his own body heat for dissolving those beads. 37 degrees. Sounds chemistry, uh, chemically plausible that 37 degree body heat would, um, would dissolve some chunks of ancient Baltic amber. <sighs> chemistry. Really is a mystery, isn't it? You've got to put your faith in something, don't you people? Anyway, look at that. Some nice spots of Baltic Amber. So, Mr. Moo, I have covered off my face. I've got you some uh, Big Pharma Shield products. I've got you the Bongella. I've got you the um, the old Nurofen. I've got you some custard powder because that's going to help you get some nutrition. I've got you Baltic Amber. I've got you some herbal remedies. And I've got you some probiotics. Kid, I don't know what your problem is, but I would really, really like it if you could cut those teeth quickly so that we can all get back to sleeping.